Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, back of TF1800 PLC HMI series video. In the previous video, we introduced the buttons, indicators, and the data field for showing the integer data and uh, the flow data. And in this video, we will show how can we config the toggle button, string display, and double indicators, as well as shift back and forth between the different screens. All right, let's start. We did a couple components in this screen one. And now let's shift to the screen two. And at the screen two, I will do one toggle button. That toggle button, once we press one time, it will set on. And once we press again, it will reset to zero. It will toggle the variable every time we press that button. Also, I will show how can we show the string using this uh, test field. Okay, let's go to the program first. If we recall, when we declare the HMI variables, we declare this start toggle button. And now I will use this toggle button control the indicator two. Okay, so let's go to the program main. Now I will program the GVL digital two. The toggle button come from HMI start toggle button TV. Okay. And then let's go to the screen two. And now let's firstly drag a button here. Then we will name it from this test, we will name it the toggle button. Okay. Make it bigger. And to use the toggle function, we will go to the toggle, this property. And from this variable, let's connect that toggle tag. So from here, let's go to find out the HMI toggle variable start TB. Okay, so we connect this uh, variable. When we use the momentary function, we use the mouse down and the mouse up. Now we are using this toggle function. Okay. And from the color, we can set a different color. For example, when it turn on, we can set the different color, for example, the dark green, okay? We will select this. And keep in mind, this color, we need to use the color variable. So this color variable. So let's connect this uh, toggle button also. Start toggle button, okay? And then let's put an indicator here. So the indicator go to find out the toolbox indicator. Indicator, lamps, switch, and uh, beep maps. And then we will drag two lamps here. And one lamp shows red, one lamp shows green. Basically, I will show how can we use two different color, for example, red and green, and connect one variable and show different lamp color. Let's quickly review. We are using this toggle button control this global GVL digital two. We will connect this variable to that two lamps. Firstly, let's go to the screen two and drag two lamps. Okay, and this lamp, I will show the red. And this, I will show the green. This red and green indicator, they are very common used for the IO list or some important signal sensors feedback showing on the screen, right? And sometimes when this signal goes off, we want to show red rather than gray. That means the red and the green they want to show up. So one common method we can do, for example, put the green and the red in the same position. And when this bit turn on, we want to enable visible this green. And when that signal goes off, we want to make this green invisible and only show this red lamp. So how can we do that? So firstly, let's connect the variable first. For this red at this variable, let's connect to that global variable and the digital two. This is the variable controlled by the toggle button. And the green is the same thing. Let's connect to that variable, digital two. Okay. And then we can think about that. When this signal goes off, so we want invisible, this green lamp, because this property that is a invisible, that means we want to invert the logic of this variable. So how to invert this variable is very easy. So we can 
firstly use this uh, variable gvl here and to invert we just put not here small case not at here okay and then go to the red so when this variable turn on we want invisible this red at here we want to use this variable this variable when this variable turn on so we want to invisible this red and when this signal goes off we want to show a light red that means we need to invert the logic of this uh, value right so we are doing this way for the red lamp we are doing this and for the green at this uh, invisible we invert this uh, bool logic okay log in and see the results and by default this variable is off so it shows the letter right when we use this toggle button press one time so this variable turn on and this green it shows the light green and the red disappear and when i press this key so it toggled it show red again so you can imagine once we put this red and green together overlap each other so when this bull turn on it will show green once it goes off it will show red that is very common use for showing the signal or showing the important feedback okay and next things i will put another test field showing the string so let me log out first and let's go to the gvl here i will use one test field and then show this string test one so let's go to the screen two and connect this string test one okay and come to the toolbox drag one test field if we quickly reveal for showing the integer we will type in the percent i for showing the float we will type in percent f and for showing the string we will use this format percent s here as this test variables we will connect to that tag okay we will connect to this string test one and if we want to input this string so i can use another test field and connect to that string test two okay let me copy and paste this okay and at this second one we will connect to the string test two and this time at this input configuration and this mouse down we can click this uh, config and click this uh, red variable and at here we can select this uh, use test output variable and because we are going to type in a string so as this uh, input type we will select the keypad rather than the number pad only so this time we select the keypad okay let's click the okay so for showing different color for input we can show the little bit different color for example as this uh, normal state this color we can show the for the string allowing the input we can select this brown okay so that means we can type in the string okay and now let's log in okay let me float this screen and so firstly we can type in one test string here for example we use the the capital abc and the small case pdf okay and then let's click this uh, red value we write value to this uh, test one and then let's shift to the screen two okay we can see this capital abc and a small case pdf is showing here so this test field is a wheel only okay next one this allows us to type in the string okay let's click this area and it will show up this uh, keypad and let's type in for example good click ok so we will see the good will be input to this string too and now if we want to transfer this test two to the test one allows this string transfer to this variable and showing the same string so we can use the logic from the plc side go to the main 
okay we can use this transfer logic directly so let's log out we want to use this gvl dot string test one will be controlled by this string two because this string two can be typed in from the hmi okay so we're using this way so let's log in So we can see this uh, test two good wrote into this uh, test one from this screen two and let's change an, another one and this time let's type in well okay so we can see this well control this test two and this test two wrote into this uh, test one and this test one is showing here so next question how can we jump between the screen one and the screen two then we will use the button jump between the screen one and the screen two firstly let's go to the screen one and let's click this log out okay and then we will use the button so this button we can name it to screen two okay and the function we can go to the on mouse down here then let's click this uh, config and let's select change shown visualization keep in mind those screen is named visualization okay select and add here assign so let's select the screen this button can jump to so click this button and select screen two. So once we press this key, then it will jump to the screen two. Okay. And the same thing from the screen two, we will jump back to this screen one. So this screen two, let's put a one button screen one. Okay and click this uh, config and click this uh, change shown visualization and assign so let's select screen one okay allows this button jump back to the screen one okay now let's try click this uh, login okay we are at the screen two this screen and once we click this button it will jump to the screen one okay and once we click this button it will jump to the screen too we will see it jump to this screen too okay till now we introduced very common used elements for example push button toggle button indicator and the toggle indicators and the test field for showing the integer data flow data and the string if we double click this uh, license we can see till now we haven't used any hmi license yet this test screen is very simple style. Basically, they are used for monitoring the PLC variables or troubleshoot some variables and monitor some important value. It's very convenient. It's like a temporary HMI. But if you are going to use a CS controller, backup controller running as a HMI, the official HMI, so we will use the visualization manager and we will use this visualization manager click this add and add a target visualization it will generate one exe file behind and from the plc controller we will call that exe file and allows this plc controller once it's boot up once this main start to run we will run the hmi program so allows the entire hmi running as a project rather than this pc screen only so that time we will use the license for learning purpose even if the system asks us to use the hmi license we can still use the seven days trial license this is the beauty of the back off system but just to keep in mind when we activate this add target visualization basically we officially use one hmi system named plc hmi rather than this a test screen only and in next video i will show how can we add this uh, target visualization 
and then I will show how can we make a master screen. So the master screen has a logo, has a title. Also, we have a navigator screen buttons allows us to jump into the different screens. So we will basically make an HMI structure. All right, see you in next video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.